September 16, 2022. Hey, I've noticed uh, quite a big concerns about Germany. Is Germany not involving itself in a war in Ukraine as it should have? That you know that this is this is a last call. Uh, you have uh, provocateurs that should nowhere be on a political stage anywhere at all. Um, here I'm talking about people like Moraviechki, you know. Check this out. Check check what he states here. Ukraine, this is a guy who called the Germans a descendants of murderers, killers, destroyers. Not too long ago. That's the guy, that's how he addressed Germans. Is a Polak, Polish, a uh, Polish prime minister. He was involved in my crime, uh, in crime against me since 1995. His partner is Andrzej Duda, the same thing, and their mentor is Kaczynski. Um, these are originators of Polish plane crash of 2010. These are domestic terrorists which Polish state have placed atop of the Polish state to I would say engage in a social engineering when you say social engineering that's actually a civil war in this case based on facial characteristics based on uh, even purchase of foreign brands that involve cars, whatever you want to name it. Uh, they didn't want any of that, but they couldn't economically support their Polish Reich, their Polish uh, equivalent to neo Nazi Germany politic, which was part of the Polish nations since the times of what was known as a serfdom that's like a slavery form of uh, governing the accent uh, on their politic was denial of any kind of uh, existence of what they refer to as a german minority which Practically, till these people popped up on the political stage, did not even exist in Poland. It was these people that started to spread hatred against their own Polish people, raiding Polish people, dividing Polish people on blue-eyed, brown-haired, back and forth, steering shit, exactly... Uh, copied the politic of Slovenian Milan Kuchan in Poland. That's how it all started. The problem with these politicians is that they're meddling into Germany in respect to war in Ukraine. The problem with these politicians is that these are the politicians that shouldn't be anywhere in the political stage they sit atop of the Poland as a president another one as a prime minister and you have in U Ukraine a politician that is in that exactly same rank of this people whose name is Vladimir Zelensky that's the guy that actually chartered them into the stars by placing them a memorial or whatever he did inside of the Kiev, in the Kiev city, in the main city of Ukraine, uh, is really special holy people to Ukraine and so on and so forth. Well, with a prejudice against the German neighbor, with a prejudice against Czech people, with a prejudice against Slovenian people, with a prejudice against people who share similarities with a German people as far as the facial features with desire 
talking about the fall of the Soviet Union, fall of the Balkan, greater Chetnik Balkan state known as Yugoslavia. It was nothing other than Balkan jail of the nations. Talking about the spring of the nations, spring of the nations, when nations in Eastern Europe reached out toward West with not only idea about economy, with goals oriented toward economy, but I'm talking about here the idea about human relations, which would extend, like in Polish case, for instance, there's like 3 million Polacks that live in Germany. Germany provided jobs, refuge for Polish people since the end of the World War II. It was always an escapade for Eastern Europeans to literally save their bare skin, not only to economically self-improve. This kind of politic evidently is unacceptable for the Germany. The politic which Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine have dedicated himself into division of Ukraine in my eyes. Literally. Uh, let me explain something here. Um, I definitely am on Ukrainian side. I absolutely am on Ukrainian side. But I am for the Ukraine, which will equally involve in its economy, its in social status, standings, human relations, also what are Germans. Uh, I know that, and that I'm just afraid, as much as German Chancellor Scholz, there has been people a lot of people that hold back, hold grudge against Germans due to World War II. It was atrocity that took place throughout the Europe. It was bad things that happened throughout the Europe. But This uh, holding back, this, this uh, reserved, if you like, you know, opinion, like for instance, this guy here, like for instance, this individual here, I have noticed, uh, let me see, hopefully I can find one. Nah, it doesn't matter really. An individual stated me, and he was not the only one. He said to me he knew about that might be a war in Ukraine in the future. And Ukrainian state pushed on ahead. He is a manufacturer of. I'm gonna put his link below. I'm gonna put link picture his. Does a manufacturer of. Uh, Mobile homes, I would say, shelters, a better way, substitution for those, and is recognized by the President Zelensky. He is just a bot, like a personal bot, like Zelensky himself, let's say. Zelensky is a Bitcoin guru. This is just a guy that had absolutely nothing. He owned absolutely nothing. He was just a fucking social guy. All right, man. This guy was just on a salary, presidential salary and whatever he made out of his things. This was not, nothing big. This is a small town, dude. Dude from communist era, Soviet era, you know, those old apartment buildings with mommy and daddy inside. Nothing big. That's what he brainwashed me. Brainwashed me that he has some money and stuff, but nothing, nothing big, nothing big. 
And the news started to come out about this Zelensky, about his properties in Italy. And finally, news surfaced out that guy is worth more than 600 million. And he's worth more than 600 million. Probably more than seven, God knows how much money he's worth. He's just one of those gurus that knows what to buy, when, and also when to sell. So they can invest into something else and grow their wealth faster. Well, I would hate to say that this is a reserved uh, opinion, is actually a prejudice, ethnic racism. But in Ukrainian case, if I cite the guy I just mentioned right now, this manufacturer, uh, CEO of this facility, he said to me, before it's going to be, before, 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 I got to be really careful with what I say here right now. Yeah, before we're going to become part of the Germany, we're going to be become part of Russia. That's what he stated. And so, unfortunately, this reserved opinion, which he took to extreme level during MK Ultra, uh, not only tells me that the guy is de facto a Russian spy. For me, an individual who thinks like this is a Ruski espionage. That's a Ruski, that's a KGB. Russia and Serbia are two slaughterhouses, always open 24-7. Anytime you want one in your country, you're welcome. You open the door and they come in and they do the job. And all you can do is you can watch your people go on the knives. I never shared the opinion of the Montenegrans or Ukrainians or whoever out there was willing to share that kind of opinion with me when I when they held me captive, drugged up. If you like it, this is your problem. Don't bring this back to me in Slovenia. Don't try to change me. Don't, don't try to brainwash me on what you are. Don't try to brainwash me. If you don't appreciate your independence, if you don't appreciate your sovereignty, that's your fucking problem. Stay where you are. Don't bring your shit to me. For that matter, for exactly that matter, during MK Ultra, when they started to be heavy on me in certain parts of the world with these issues, I eventually started to treat them like they were part of Russia. What I did was I just crossed them out. And that's the only logical way to deal with attitudes like this. You're in no fucking position to extort anybody. European Union is idea about the human relations, not only economy. This is not only economic union. This is a human related exchange uh, interaction based on a freedom of speech, based on a freedom of movement, union. And if you're not up to it, if you don't like it, you just have to do it your way. It is simple as this. Nobody from Germany came to Ukraine or Poland and stated, hey man, you gotta become part of Germany or whatever. This never ever happened. But one thing I'm gonna tell you right here from Slovenia. If you were disturbed with idea to treat Germans equally, because I'm saying this because you were disturbed by treating me equally in Ukraine. I'm saying this because you were disturbed by treating me equally in Poland. I'm saying this because you were disturbed by treating me equally in Slovakia and in Czech Republic. You had a heavy prejudice against me. I'm not even German, I'm Slovenian. That's why I'm saying this. And I know what hurts Schultz. I know what hurts Schultz. I criticize Schultz for a lot of things. 
but it's this thing here that I'm going to give the Schultz 100% right. Why would Germany, since Vladimir Zelensky have completely aligned himself to Poland, rather than to Ukraine, he is more motivated in defending, eventually, I'm not going to say defending, this is a broker, this is a businessman that doesn't give a three fucks about if Bolsonaro signed a contract to Vladimir Putin just two days ago, three days ago, about the oil contract that's going to that's gonna yield Vladimir Putin several more billions uh, for more money for the war, more energy. Uh, he does not, he will not say, hey, you know, Brazil, or even, hey, China, whatever. This is a businessman. This is a broker. He is selling victories right now with a fact that Ukraine is being... Russians did not manage to penetrate only from Crimean side onto the continent where Ukraine is, on a continental side, but they even crossed Dnieper River. Appears to me he'll be happy if he managed to liberate the side of Dnieper River uh, on which Kiev is located. But he is, and uh, his newspapers, did you see? They're all selling victory. Big victories, big, 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 big victories, big, 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 huge, huge Russian military and complete fuck up. They are running out. Man, they are running from Crimea right now, if you didn't know. The Russian politicians already are running from Crimea, but I don't know why the fuck would they run from Crimea. Did you see the map? <laughs> the map is clearly suggesting that what I stated the other day, they have liberated like a maybe so far what they liberated like at 1500 miles 1500 miles okay the russians have still occupied 123,000 miles so you're just gonna have to go almost like i don't know like 100 times more to liberate what the russians have taken from you and he is selling all over the place all this like a victory it's like a victory and this victory is actually a brokerage between him. Between, unfortunately, on the West, you have a lot of people like this. They're interested in closing the deal. You also have people that act partially. Uh, they do literally were purchased by the Polish regime. You're going to have apparatus like this, because the idea here is it's, it's not about the Molotov, Ribbentrop-Molotov pact this time. This time is about Morawiecki, the guy that I demonstrated you, and Medvedev. They made pact, they made brokerage, so that Putin would get whatever Putin needs, so that he could rationalize on the next stage his triumph uh, to whatever land. You know, and he's going to go together, Putin uh, and Zelensky hand in hand with one another, with Morawiecki and with others to whatever place they're going to choose then uh, is going to be the next one to go to. So this whole deal, this, this situation with Zelensky is a fishy one. Not anymore only because he is trying to annex whatever is going to be left out of his sale to Poland. And Poland is doing disgusting, disgusting stuff. This is not the only comment that you can see here. The comment like this. This is this is not this is not the only comment like this. There is more comments like this.
There's more comments like this. Uh, wife from uh, Mr. Donald Tusk. Uh, that's a very, very, very... That's like you would marry Andre Duda, really, Mr. Donald Tusk. I just want to remind you how that looked like in your family. I know all these people. I had opportunity to interact with them. The opportunity, you know. It's called the opportunity during the times when I was dropped up. Now, oh, fuck was not in uh, opportunity. It was the way to break me down. To crush me into pieces through the beatings, through the death threats, through the torture, and turn me into yes, another yes, 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 yes. But I'm not like this. I'm just not the guy like that. So it's... You see a lot about Germany promised Ukraine weapons but has not delivered. Now anger toward Berlin is rising and this and that. Hmm. Well, the reality is such that Germany got to have a reason to fight for it. Europe is got to feel must have a reason to fight. German Chancellor is not going to say that. But during MK Ultra, there was other countries in Italy and France and so on and so forth that were very, very concerned about this. If you like mentality, which I in Slovenia, I'm just going to tell you the fuck out from here with that kind of mentality i don't care whether you're from ukraine or you're from montenegro or slovakia or czechia or poland the fuck out of here the fuck out of here you cause tremendous damage here in slovenia the people that were involved in mk ultra shake like this from fear you took our sovereignty for a ride here in slovenia in 95, it was a chua of birds here in Slovenia. I'm talking about only Milan Kucha, I'm talking about Bor Pahor, Tanya Fajon, talking, not talking about the Udba people, ex Yugoslav, so called Yugoslav Communist Party members. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about politicians like Peter Le, Boucher, Katsin. Talking about the whole palette of the politicians, which are supposedly pro-independence politicians, that froze, that froze, because you fucking froze them. You froze the politicians. You killed the spring of the nations in Slovenia. The fuck out of here, Montenegro. The fuck out of here, Ukraine. Clean your shithole over there in Ukraine. Clean your shithole. Then you start point finger in other people. I have a problem with it. Our politicians here, you terrorize them, you scare them with this MK Ultra that it's actually Germans that want to come here and that they're gonna take us over. And you form your political parties across the Eastern Europe and you interconnected with one another. Likewise thinking with the Milan Kurchan, and then likewise thinking if, if that's Anything like this exists at all with the Peterle, with uh, Dmitry Rupel, and so on, with, uh, with, you know, the opposition, which never actually was the opposition. The only thing that happened is that will for life, that desire to exchange, to interconnect with the people throughout Europe, to walk, to cooperate with one another, what European Union is based on. Like the relationship between the Italy and Germany, and between the France and Germany, and between the, you know, these countries. The only thing you did is you fucking killed us. You fucking killed us here in Slovenia. You caused more than political instability. You started with the social engineering. You started with the discrimination. You started with discrimination against the facial features of our natives here in Slovenia. Inside of the journals, Borut Pahor started to 
literally pose with the people that look like Russian, Ukrainian, Polish, uh, different from the natives here in Slovenia. And you started to cover this space, timing, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years in the newspapers, you projected the facial features. I'm not gonna say not of our people, but excessively to degree as if we never fucking existed in this country. As if we don't existed because it was a Milan Kuchon plan. Big part of the plan for him was to create big fucking Soviet Union. Make us people disappear in this Soviet Union. Like we never ever existed anywhere in the map. And so it is. If you go to the Slovenian journals, newspapers, you're going to see that they just completely cover. And if you look at the population uh, ratio, people of our people going out of here. And you have another people coming here landing from Serbia mostly. It's horrific actually. It clearly indicates there is a big concern Germans have right to. They are entitled to this kind of concern. It's a big concern. It's not European politics that goes on inside of the Ukraine. So I'm going to tell you this in the middle of Ukraine. I side with you. I'm going to continue to side with you. But I have a problem with it. This problem also set all your problems the mama the father daddy of all the problems was formed in 1995 they began to observe how do you see yourself as a part of european how do you see yourself as a part of a european nation how are you going to interact how how are you going to exchange and so on with people from Europe? How are you going to get involved? How are you going to get included? How are you going to include yourself into this greater European society? They wanted to know. They wanted to know how this is going to interconnect. They wanted to know how this is going to all function. How, what do you see yourself more as? Now, yeah, over the course of the time, you learn about what you already should have known long time ago and i don't want to go here and press against russia what russia did and with the holodomor and with everything else but this stuff goes beyond this it goes beyond it goes into the human relations it goes into fact that somebody gives you a hand it, it's then up to you how you're gonna Proceed from there, whether you're going to reach out for that hand, or maybe you want to turn and go the opposite way. This is up to you. If you want to convince Europe, you're going to have to bring more about than just bitching that they aren't doing anything for you. You're going to have to go a little bit beyond that. If you dedicate some statue of people like Kaczynski, uh, Morawiecki, Duda and stuff like this, uh, praise them to the stars? How, what the fuck? With what? United States of America mostly gave you weaponry. The weaponry you got, you mostly got from the Western Europe. That's the weapon because of which you exist. You don't exist because of 30 fucking Polish tanks. They gave you? Do you think you exist because of this? You need to wake the fuck up. Because your war is the same war that started in 1995. The question here is, what you're going to bring to the table of the European Union? To the people of the European Union so they can see themselves in you. German Chancellor didn't do it, but I'm going to do it. You need to stop with a prejudice. You need to stop telling people how they're going to look alike, even in other countries, and how they are to view and this and that. Because we alone here, I am not, I'm here from Slovenia, I tell you. We're not ready to settle for that. It's you who want to get to European table. It's you who want to get inside. 
So respect this or find your own solution. It is simple as this. They didn't tell you this. Nobody told you this, but I'm going to tell you. You can't be a prejudice. You can't go about and prejudge people based on their how they look, what their facial features are. Germany have changed. I already said it for the Poland. This is not World War II neo-Nazi Germany. The only thing that's going to happen is because Polacks have gone as far as taking money away for a German minority in Poland. There's supposedly 2 million Germans, people who declare themselves as Germans in Poland, and they have uh, suspended the money, I suppose, if there ever was such a thing, for this German minority. I already, just as I stated for Poland, the only thing that's going to happen is Polish workers in Germany are going to be replaced by more workers from abroad, from Africa, from Asia, from South America, from other countries, and that's all there is. Because it's a country that is oriented towards different kind of ideas. You live in the past, you live in the world that is long gone, and you are completely unrealistic about what is on the other frontier, where the death is coming from, to you even during the war, then I say, fuck this. If you don't understand during the war what's going on, how to view the things as, how to understand, how to pursue things as, then we don't have, unfortunately, much to talk about. I go back to this Montenegro issue, and the only thing I did, they, they were threatening me, and you're going to say this, and the only thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to sign annex to Serbia. And you're going to say that, and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, I'm going to do annex to Serbia. And I didn't say anything. That's the thing. So it was up to then. I, I, I didn't even mention Montenegro or anything like this. So it was all kinds of terror, all kinds of stuff like this anxiety pushing uh, to individual that he just got to be like paranoid even about what he think about the Serbia, this and that. The only thing I told them is, fuck you. And fuck your Montenegro and everything. You never even existed. I don't even know how you became autonomous. And that was a horror. Then it was a horror. Then it was like shock. And they fucking got it. For you to be considered to be. You need to earn this. You need to earn this. You need to earn this yourself. You need to earn this from other people. You need to earn from the people that you want to be, that you want to be part of. This is you're talking about the nations, sovereign nations. You want you want sovereign nations to have a goat coming there, and this black goat is gonna bump into one another and do uh, all kinds of hocus pocus. It doesn't work like this. The sovereign nations already know why they are sovereign. There is a reason that this pe that nations are sovereign nations. And you have to act like this. European Union requires open mentality. It requires mentality which is going to be human related based on exchange. Not only of ideas, economy, money, but interaction with the people which should not be prejudged against no matter where they are coming from, from whatever state they are coming from. That's what the European Union is based on. I think that Germany gave you outstanding help. It reached out to you, and it's up to you to make that step in the right direction. They are not gonna, not, not Germany. There's other countries also in Europe. It's not only Germany. Germany is not stupid that's gonna go and get into the war for the sake of the greater Poland. Think about the fucking politician that addresses frequently Germans as Potomci, um, 
descendants of the killers, destroyers. Do you have a politic like this in your country going up on a stage and talk about somebody like this in that in that tone, in that tune, and demands from them, I don't know, $1.5 trillion in reparations when third of the country is on the floor of what used to be Germany before the World War II. I think and I'm not getting myself in between German and Polish. This is not the idea here. But I think the lady that was in Auschwitz, that was interned inside of the Auschwitz and was horrified with presentation of own politician. I think the best would be for the people to approach one another, use like a human tactic, talk with one another. I don't want to get into these things. This is not who owns to whom what and this and that. But if I were German, I would hell fear that a country like this would increase in size even more with the politicians like this across the river, Odra River, just uh, plotting something all the fucking time about uh, what was World War II and uh, basically going out there and killing own people based on their phys physical looks crashing planes down and doing all kinds of shit like this terrorism it's a problem because we're heading in the wrong direction and this this is not only for the germany i'm telling you i'm here from slovenia i'm telling you it's a problem for me it's a trouble that's all i want to say to you today is september the 16 2022 um If you want to be part of the European Union, you're just going to have to accept idea about what I stated to you. Uh, and that's how it works. And it's what I think for the majority of Ukrainian people, uh, this is what it works. Ukrainian people, unfortunately, stranded themselves into Poland for work so the Polacks could go across the border to Germany and I don't wish nothing bad to Polish people I hope you don't get idea that I wish something bad to Polish people no I don't however Poland took advantage of a minimum wage for which Polish people do not work Ukrainian people however did slaved for that wage and Poland profited from within greatly. I wish Ukraine plenty of success, more than Polish minimum wage, and also good friendship, great relations on the West with French, not only Germans, Dutch, Spanish, Italians, Scandinavians such as Norway, Sweden, Finland, open interaction with the people, something that Vladimir Putin, KGB, Russia, Moscow couldn't even fucking imagine in 1995. Remember how they lost the mind when I worked and I stressed these issues? how they wanted to keep you under control under the rug when some foreign diplomat approached or they were interested in any kind of exchange factory financial economic wise how they wanted to control you that's why that's what we want here in europe that's that's what this is about that's what this is about you being your own nation and part of this european union that's what this is all about. 
Today is September the 16th, 2022.